Yo up guys, Mr. Ross here, back from MER Starcast. Back with um another one of my live gameplays but commentating over it like I've done in the past with like my Renekton and so forth. Um but anyway, leave it today we'll be gonna be playing as Riot K9 Nasus. The last time I played Nasus was a very, very long time ago. It was um the first video I actually made when I came back from Thailand uh, last year. Um, oh no, the second video actually. I played the Singe game which went pretty well and then I played the Nasus game and it went on for about 50 minutes and it wasn't really that amazing game. I ended up still uploading it because I kind of wanted to put some content up and it actually is my most viewed League video to date, um, which I can't believe. Um, it wasn't the greatest game ever. Um, and as a lot of you comments have been put on it, I've learned the thing what I find when I play League, I'm very bad at just click and play and I don't really read stuff what it does and kinda of through YouTube I've learned a lot of stuff which I didn't know and I really should kinda of know, like I never really realised Nasus is uh W. I don't really think I use it too much in this game. I played another Nasus game when I finally actually was reading his moves properly and I realised it reduced attack speed and so forth, which I really never paid attention to before, which is a, a bit dumb and also the trick Force, which is, I just always used to f f uh, think it was a bit of everything, but obviously it has its uh, passive, um, which obviously increases your damage a lot more, which I never realised, hence why I never built a Sheen or a Trinity Force in the last game, but I've certainly learnt from my mistakes, um, learnt from what you guys have sort of criticised me on and so forth, which is, you know, it's kind of a nice thing about YouTube, or when people go about it the right way, you know, if someone's just calling you a, f a fat off noob for no reason, then... I don't really understand why, but if, if they say, you know, I was doing this wrong, you know, then I'll respond to that and try and make changes, and like I say, last time I played them was, that would have been July or June or something, maybe, so, uh, almost about seven, seven months ago, possibly about that. But anyway, I've got my uh, two friends in this game, both uh, trying out something different, uh, my friend Terrorize is playing Ramus Jungle, um, and my friend Chronic's playing Kale mid for the first time, so I think they do actually kind of struggle, both of them actually. Um, I'm not sure. I will see what the spectator mode will be able to actually see how these things um, do go this game. But I am facing off against Nasus's brother and Nevelas up in the top lane, old Renekton. Um, so it should be an interesting battle up there. I can't really remember too well how it actually goes. But I remember it being a pretty nice game. Um, and I really enjoyed playing Nasus once again. As it had been such a long time without actually playing him. We're fine. Where is he? Number 5. So if we click on number 5. At least we can watch us. And then D. I guess it's for direct to camera. There we go. We got this shit. So at least we got the main kind of edges of what's going on. Um, so at the moment, really, you know, my main idea is just really, even though he's getting some nice re -at attacks down on me, it's just really trying to farm up my Q, you know, Nasus's Q is really what makes him the kind of champion that he has to be. Especially now with all the kind of way they've changed Season 3, where you can just really go tanky, and that is the sort of the way forward, go go for an early Giants battle, and it seems to be uh, the best way about things. And the fact that you can do that with a Nasus, and yet you still get all this free damage on your Q, um, is crazy. Currently at the moment, I think I've not, my last hits aren't too brilliant at the moment, what's that? 7 to Renekton's 8, so. But ever since I got back from Thailand, my last hits have been a bit sloppy, but. I did play, I think I might have mentioned in another video, I was playing Renekton uh, solo top against a, uh, I think it was a Kha'Zix. I was talking to Kha'Zix, but. By the hundred, uh, uh, not a hundred, uh, by the ten minute mark I had a hundred and ten CS, so it's probably something the best I've done there since being back anyway. Um, so I was pretty impressed with that, but Kha'Zix was really, wasn't too much uh, competition for myself. I think Sejuani comes here and I just flash over, it was not really worth whatsoever being stuck in between those two with uh, all the CC and slows that. Uh, Sejuani has, and obviously with Renekton stun, I could have quite easily I mean, popped dead as Renekton does have Ignite and still up, so um, that could have been quite easily a very bad result for myself then. But anyway, nevertheless, uh, let's talk about my opening build for this game. Um, I was kind of torn between what I really wanted to start off with, you know, you have the option, do you go, kind of go armor, but I, I kind of thought that I wanted the Philosopher's Stone so that I could have the uh, Mana Regen. I I always I always used to enjoy Philosophers a lot on uh, Nasus and it can always be sold late game or he's built into a Chevelli's Revely if needed. Um oh, that's, it's a terrible car. I'm watching them now, even though it always amazes me that 
My last hits are so bad half the time, especially early game. Anyway, I think I may die here. The knight's gonna go down on me. Uh, that was really bad by me. I got really kind of caught out of place there. Um, did drop him pretty low, about 30 HP I think then. But it's how Fox's final half Fox was kicking in, so it was a bit annoying uh, to die like that. It was my own fault. Got really kind of caught out then. Um, and even though I did check the night on him, I did always kind of thought that he was going to get away. Um, it was very well played by him, and I just got caught out big time. That was a little bit newbie thing by me, but I'm pretty sure I, after that I kind of uh, went, oh yeah, shit, what am I doing? Need to uh, put my game face on now. But anyway, I've gone for my philosophers, early philosophers, um, just to kind of get that mana regen. It gives me a nice bit of uh, gold per five, and it just means I can spam my Q a little bit more, hence why I kind of went for that. And you can see that our bottom pairing is very low, and Ramus is going to come in. Ah, oh, what a lovely, um, lovely stun by the owner that really kind of caught on to And the hurt going down between Karma and Kale mid lane, well, back down to bottom. Luckily, um, Ramus has a lot of armor, and he should be all okay. But all bottom those three are pretty low. Quinn is going for it, but Ezreal is there. Oh, this is dodgy. This is very dodgy. The Ignite going down from Ezreal. Quinn is going to pick up a second kill of the game and a kill going to Ramos. So, a 3 for 1 engagement down in that bottom lane is not, uh, not too bad, but they did kind of get bit out a bit by Sejuani with Ezreal standing there. But nevertheless, they've uh, picked up the pieces. As Kale is putting the hurt down on Karma mid lane. This is the game. Karma hasn't actually been remastered for this game yet. She's still uh, same old Karma. But you can see if we, uh, oh, we might have a gank mid, no I don't think that uh, Ramus is really going to make anything happen here. Um, if we switch back up to myself, there we go, and see what's going back up on this top lane, I think everything dries up a little bit, everywhere else anyway. Let's have a look at Renekton. Renekton has decided to come back, obviously he has got that kill over me, my farm's starting to creep a little bit higher than his, it's actually highest in the game. But like I was saying before, it always amazed me, I missed so many last hits, but yet my farm still always seems to be, or it's nowhere near good, but it always seems to be higher than everyone else's, so it just amazes me what my farm really could be like had I not missed uh, half of them. Um, I think at this point, I was with my friend uh, George, who's playing around this game, I was saying I need a gank up top. Um, and I, Renekton had ward it, you can see it over there, I haven't actually placed my ward down yet, that is his ward on the minimap. So Ramus is coming up, I believe Karma's, I don't know, Karma and Sejuani both seem to be following, they must have both saw him. Nevertheless, he's going to come in here, I would pop my ult, Renekton is going to pop, has, has his ult up as well, and a Q to the face, and that is it. But unfortunately, for Ramus, um, Karma and Sejuani both showed up without him realising, and... Uh, a cue, a cue to the face from Karma, and that was uh, GG. But it wasn't the end of the world. Um, did obviously pick up a kill for myself, which is going to be very beneficial. So we're back at level on with Renekton. It's going to allow me to get a bit of free farm whilst he's out the lane. And you can see, even though I'm messing this one last hits away with the board, um, I am 10 CS up on him now. And obviously, that's important because it means my Q's getting farmed up as well during that whole period of time. But anyway, like we were saying about his items, you can see now he's just purchased a couple more. He's gone for his ruby, uh, ruby crystal so off to get him a little bit of health. A long sword, so possibly he might be going for an early phage or something. And he's gone for his boots and some cloth armor as well, and a couple of health pots, and this time buying no wards. And they are going in, um, focusing the high in there, which, uh, obviously he was low, but it just meant as soon as the exhaust went down onto Quinn there, uh, Ezreal was always going to chant him away. But Ramus is coming in, the double stun. This is lovely, and the taunt. This could well be it for Ezra Harder. <laughs> the ult in from the owner. This is amazing. This is brilliant. And the auto attacks coming down from Ramus. This is I, I, I don't know how viable Ramus is, but um, he seems to be looking okay now. Well, I've never, bar my friend uh, George playing in this game, I've not seen Ramus played in months. I, I can't think the last time I've actually seen a Ramus played really. I don't know why. Um, maybe he's just, I guess his clear rate in the jungle is pretty slow, but Gank Protector, you know, he's fast and he has his, uh, his little knock up from his, uh, from his little, uh, wheel, his little sonic wheel, I guess we could call it, he's in. Um, and then obviously he does have, uh, his, uh, taunt as well. And he just stacks off armor as well, which, you know, well, can't go wrong with that. And Kale get him drop Ray low in the mid lane, but. As I said, we'd come back up top, and I'm back in lane now. The main man's back in action, the dog. Snoop Doggy Dog. Nevertheless, uh, we do have two wards on ourselves. Uh, like I say, gone for that early philosophers, and we've now actually been able to build into our glacial shroud. 
Please gracious your shroud on me. Talking about my eye. I'm, I'm correct. Sometimes, uh, forget what half the- or oh, I get so used to looking at the pictures and never remember what the names are. But yeah, going, I'm going to look into try and get a, um, early Iceborne Gauntlet. Um, I've never seen it on- well, I have seen in games where I've seen NASA's play and I've seen people play with the Iceborne Gauntlet and it looks too OP, so I've never actually tried it out myself as, like I say, it was last year that I last played NASA, so it wasn't uh, that item actually wasn't out for himself. And uh, before, I've never actually built the sheen on him, so um, it was the first time for everything. A bit late considering the amount of games I used to play with NASA, and the amount of damage I probably could have been doing back then had I actually originally been building a, a sheen on myself. But not to worry, it's all good. So my Q is starting to look a, a little bit nasty at the moment. Um, I don't know if I've actually warded it up yet. I still have my two wards. I haven't even placed them down so Sejuani is going to sit there for a little bit whilst I'm at my knowledge. Um, we're currently 105 bonus damage by the 10 minutes mark. It's not too bad, you know. It's all just uh, free damage. It could be a little bit better I guess, but it is all free damage one way or another. So. Sejuani is really uh, holding around there. Really is trying to make something happen. And she is going to come out. She's going to show her face. And she's going back off. Oh, but she, she does have her ult up and Renekton and does have his ult up along with Ignite, so they possibly could have made something happen, but turret diving on Nasus would have been pretty dangerous. But I guess with their CC, um, they could have made, maybe made something happen. I don't know. Renekton's... I don't know. It would have been like, quite interesting to see, but you know, it's a, kind of a risky play to make so early on this game, or such a low level anyway. So we're just going to farm up still. Uh, we'll, get, we'll go back and direct the camera and see what's going on. Oh, Ramus is very low here. What you up to, Ramus, you crazy fool? Well, back up top anyway. That's where the action is. Camera, camera, the direct camera knows where it's at. So currently, farm boys, uh, 73 by 11 minute mark, uh, you know, I say. That certainly could be easy by 100 by now, so. Missing out on about twi 25 last hits at, or that's just on average, really. I'm sure the farming could be a lot better than that still. Um, but nevertheless, we are actually do have the highest farm in the game. There, Ezra, I've just noticed. I do not know what he is up to. 28 last hits. Ah, that's terrible. Even a jungler has more. Even Ramus, a hard jungler, has more um, last hits than what Ezra does. Even though uh, Ezra's would equivalent to a little bit more because of all the little pointless minion camps, but still, that is uh, crazy. So I'm not sure what happened up top lane. Um, I think I must have pushed Renekton back or something, um, as he has recalled and finished off his Brutalizer now, which will help uh, himself against my bit of armor that I am stacking on myself at this moment in time. That's it. That's all he's got. Oh, plus a bonus ward now for that bit of vision, so... We'll see. We do have Ramus coming down. I think Ramus is actually sitting in the war, so he will know he is there. But we're going back up top. Maybe less. Sejuani, they're batting him all down, but we can't see it. Yeah. Oh, coming down from Ramus. And, uh, where is Quim? Miles away. And they're gonna are they going to dive this? This is a risky dive. Wow, well, that uh, AoE ult from uh, Quim is so crazy. Double kill going down to Quim. Can she get the triple? There we are. Triple kill to Quim. If uh, her farm being double Ezreal's wasn't enough, the fact she's now up to six kills is crazy. Especially if you compare their uh, their build orders. Quinn, who's currently sitting on a BS sword and a Vampire Scepter, I'm pretty sure she must have the gold to afford a blood first now after that triple kill. Compared to Ezreal's double Doran's Ruby Crystal and a long sword. So, very uh, interesting builds coming out. You can also see Ezreal how, how much he is actually struggling at the moment. Myself and Renekton really kind of trading um, damage between each other. Karma looking really kind of strong in the mid lane. We haven't really seen much, but every time it's kind of flickered through there, uh, Karma's always seemed to be doing the job. But Kale is out farming her one way or another, so that is the main thing. Um, I think I'm backing off here. Go obviously must have enough gold on the bank to go buy something interesting. Um, 100, we've hit 100 uh, CS by the 14 minute mark, so a little bit slow on that, but. That is the highest in the game, followed by Renekton, who's currently on 80 or 91 at the moment. Slowly catching up on me, but meaning that I've been able to back now. I've been able to buy my Giant Spout, another ward, two wards in my uh, back pocket, along with a uh, Sapphire Crystal to be able to wards that uh, Sheen to finish off my Ice Point Gauntlet, which I, I'm pretty sure 
as long as I get a nice farm and possibly a kill, I'd be easier to afford that on my actually uh, my next pack. But we'll see. Um, I can't really remember too much how it goes. I don't think. Um, I know the game does get a lot more interesting in a couple of minutes' time, but to when that comes, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, my memory seems to follow me, even though this was. I think this was two days ago, actually, maybe this game. Even less. Real nice damage coming by Karma. I had uh, told them that Renekton was SS, and you can see that he is hunting around down there, even though we are uh, looking at bottom. I don't think anything does happen. Um, I decided to try and push the tower up a little bit, but I had I knew these guys were in big trouble, and you can see here, even the, uh, the ult going down onto Chaos South then possibly could have went on Ramus or a little bit earlier on the south, because he wasn't really targeting her then. Um, but not to worry. This if we flick to myself, we'll see. I've come in here, I'm like, ah oh, shit, these guys are taking this turret. And I don't think I can actually make up my mind who I want to target. I flash in to try and cue Sejuani. Um, but I get altered to the face by a stab, which just completely roots me to the floor, making my um, my flash really worthless, plus my ult. And uh, only able to think, I think I only pick up the kill on Renekton here. Uh, Karma is ridiculous, her speed there is just something else. Um, so yeah, it was a bit annoying, maybe I flashed a bit too early, trying to flash in there and get a cue to her face, but it just didn't go the way um, I really wanted it to, but we did pick up a kill over a so it was a 1v1 train that, uh, 1v1 trade in the mid lane, but obviously they did pick up a turret, so uh, my friend, my uh, friend Kale told me, it was like, let's get this mid turret down, I said, oh, yeah, it's the right choice to really kind of make, um, and that is that down, so we'll switch back to the red camera for now. We did actually miss a kill on Quinn, a 7 kill of the game, but there's our 8. <laughs> wow. That's uh, Bomb, Hyman here, and uh, Ezra again, absolutely raped. It really doesn't really help the, the way um, Hyman Ding is built, and anyway, he's just going straight off AP, doesn't look like he's buying wards, as Ezra's actually uh, got a ward on himself, so. Um, interesting, very interesting. Sejuani a bit late there, unfortunately. Um, I don't think we actually really try and make anything happen here. I, I was saying we could battle it, but I, um, I didn't have my ult up for another sort of 15 seconds, and I said most likely Renekton's going to come down, and that is the case. He is he is on his way down, so I don't know if we do make any kills happen here. You know, Renekton is very kind of scary. I should have really kind of went in there. If we were going to go in, that would have been the time to have done it. I think we all get away all okay. Um, Ignite did get choked and chucked down onto. Uh, I think that must have been Kale popping up Ignite on Ray Nectar, man. Um, and I think Ramus really does get caught out here, unfortunately. But Quinn is here. And somehow I get the kill. I mean, it must have been my um, Spirit of uh, Fire there. Really doing the damage down. But my ult is now back up and getting the double kill. This is when the kill started going down. It would be only Quinn here to the rescue. And, uh, Quinn picking up her knife kill of the game. I think Heimendinger will get killed here. Nice stun by Leona and a cue to the face. There we go. That's what we're talking about. So, three kills and quick concession there puts me up to uh, five kills now. Completely did really turn that around where uh, Renekton and Karma and Sejuani are really kind of hunting us down. But a nice, um, well, Quinn really kind of come to lane along with Leona and the stuns there was just crazy. And along with my damage from being it in. Um, Big ass canine mode really uh, put the hunt hurt down on them. So five kills to myself, 117 CS, highest in the game. Renekton is really kind of catching up on us, so um, it is pretty far behind. I have obviously lost a lot of uh, CS where I kind of been just uh, staying around the mid lane for the last couple of minutes, but it's all good. It's all good. It will mean now that I will hopefully or surely after picking up a uh, three kills there and a little bit of farm, I should be able to easily afford my um, Iceborne Gauntlet now, which would in theory, or well, which does mean that no one will get away from you pretty much when you have your Wither on them and then you hit them after using the ability and it slows them. They just there's just no chance of them getting away, and the amount of damage that you do as well, especially after your Q continuously farming up. At the moment, it is on a, uh, where are we? 222 plus 110 plus 108, so that's about about 450 damage by the 19 minute mark um, that my Q's doing, and that's without any attack damage items whatsoever on myself and uh, defensive masteries and runes. So. It's ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have to give him uh, masses a couple games more now, especially now that um, I've kind of uh, 
Uh, you, so I think that's what did used to originally be my main, but from the comments you guys made on my original uh, YouTube video of NASA's, I've obviously learnt a bit myself now on how to play them a bit better. So, um, wow, I cannot believe Leona just got away from that. Let alone Quinn. It was a nice flash by Quinn, but yeah, well played by Leona. Uh, GG. So Ezra has gone, gone for that early phage. He's now sitting on 39 last hits compared to Quinn's 120, three times uh, less, and she also has eight kills more than him. So me and Kale pushing this top lane. Uh, Kale starts to tackle Renekton then, but I told her to leave it. I said uh, focus the turret, as obviously uh, that was the main objective, and I didn't really feel we were going to kill Renekton. Um, it's you know, such a tanky option, and Kale did get a bit greedy there, to be honest. Um, I was telling him to back, don't do it, don't do it, and he, he really wanted to fight him. Um, but yeah, Renekton really, as someone that low health will really kind of burst him down, especially after Kale popped her ulti to try and survive a couple of those turret hits. But not in the underworld, that is uh, Renekton's third kill for himself. He's been able to complete his uh, Sunfire Keep now. Along with Brutalizer, getting a bit of magic resist in there as well. I might be going for his Mercury Treads or something, but for myself, who's just about to back now, we'll be able to find out like, what we're actually going for. But it is all going down in this mid lane. Can Quinn pick up 11th kill of the game? Go on, Quinn. Go on, Quinn. Just getting all attacked away by uh, Ezreal there, and we'll get shut down. Um, True Shot Barrage coming in a little bit just too late. And kill again to uh, Sejuani there, so um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit greedy. Kind of really wanted that kill, but Leona once again getting away. Um, that girl has a tank, 13 assists, she's got a giant spell, um, so, and a ruby crystal, so we've got a bit of health on her. Crazy. Um, will Ezra be down? Oh, the flash in, and ex the exhaust from Leona, and the flash by Kale. And the powder and attack speed by um, Kale there was enough to kill Ezra. And we can see here the chase is on. I now decide to uh, flash in on Karma, but she does have a shield. I've got the Wyvern there, and a knock up by Ramus. And with my Iceborne Gauntlet on myself now, uh, the, the slows are just ridiculous. Um, no one is getting away whatsoever. You can see I have now, along with my Iceborne Gauntlet, I've actually been able to complete my Giant Spout into a Sunfire Cape as well now. So. Um, I am certainly looking, uh, or uh, full of armor, that now puts me myself on to 199 armor. That's uh, crazy on 69 magic resist, but really there was no one on our team really that scary to be honest. Um, Hunting has got zero kills next to us, and Karma's just got the two, so nothing really to worry about. So my main focus was the champions like Renekton and Sedge, who's doing a bit of damage, and obviously Ezra as well. So we do decide to back here. I did pop my ult. But I think uh, nothing is really going to happen here. Everyone is kind of too low. We don't have Quinn either, who is really our main damage dealer. Um, so we're just going to back off, buy some items, get a bit of health and so forth. Maybe secure Dragon. Dragon is up. I haven't actually seen it picked up this game. Um, I guess that's one of the things with Ramus as well. He's kind of a bit of a slow juggle to try and take Dragon. But I'm sure with the help of Bottom they can actually make it happen easy enough. But. Dangerous play is going on here. Quinn is focusing down Sejuani, but Karma is going to come in behind. Flash away by Ramus, and here is Nasus and Kale to save the day. I'm pretty sure Karma is not going to be getting away from this. And a Q to the face, and that is a godlike for godlike for myself now. We will be able to pick up the uh, first dragon of the game, or which I've noticed anyway. I may I may have um, missed it where I've been looking up top lane or something, but uh, nevertheless, um, Quinn is not going to be able to. Uh, I don't know, she is using her range advantage quite nicely and getting a bit of, uh, she's recovering quite a bit of health actually from a uh, lifesteal there, but uh, she is knocked him too low really for him to do anything. He does have, no, he doesn't have his ult up actually, and he doesn't have Ignite up. I think he, if he had both of them, he might have went for something uh, with a nice sort of stun and Q and an E back E combo along with Ignite and his ult up. Plus the ticking from Sunfire Cape, I'm pretty sure he probably could have killed her, but. He is going for it now. He does. His ult isn't actually up, so a bit of a dangerous move. Um, Sejuani, Ezra, and uh, Hyman in there, and that is a double kill for Sejuani. So her fourth kill of the game now. So currently sitting on Warmog, so it's looking pretty tanky. I've seen a lot of people actually um, play Sejuani at the moment. Um, she is. Might have to give her a go. I've never really properly played her. And I was here. I did. Uh, we did actually have a ward in that bush, and I was trying to get her as quick as possible to. Uh, Kill old um, Heimendinger, but unfortunately his recall I was just a tad too slow. 
and uh, decide that I oh, know it's not going to be worth my while me uh, fighting all three of them then to be honest. I did see Ramus and I thought well we could turn around here but Ramus is pretty low so it wouldn't have really been worthwhile. Um, but item wise now I didn't realise I backed uh, I've now gone for Boots of Mobility just so I can get around the map a little bit quicker really and obviously I've also gone for some Magic Resist in my uh, my Necton Cloak, which I will be building into, I can't remember the actual item off the top of my head. Can we open up the store? I can't remember, I sure there used to be a way. I don't know. Anyway, big battle going down in the mid lane. Both pulse pop by me and Renekton, so a lot of AoE damage going down. And Ezra, I kind of cue him to the face. There's the Wither, and he is going down. And another. We're gonna go on Sejuani, a lovely ult by Kale, keeping me in the battle for that little bit long, a little bit longer, but unfortunately just not having the health to um, survive that. And that is gonna be a shutdown by Karma and that's gonna be a bounty of five hundred gold for herself, so very nice for her. Um, but you gotta die sometime. It was a bit greedy, you mean kinda of really staying in the battle like that. Um, but eight kills for myself now, a second there, four assists. So Looking really strong. Um, I don't think I actually have enough gold at the moment in myself. Uh, lovely ace by Ramos there to actually buy anything. It's just sitting on 870 gold. So with this turret, that will put us up to a thousand. Um, five turrets for ourselves, one turret for the purple team, and 11 or oh, a 13k gold difference now. Wow, that's crazy. It is 29 kills to the 12, I guess. Plus the uh, obviously now have six turrets over them. Um, plus the dragon, so lovely ult by Sejuani there, and that could be all three of them going down. True Shot Barrage will kill off Kale there, and Renekton and Kale make the hunt for um, Ramos there. Never going to get away then. Uh, so Renekton would always have uh, hunted them down. And a lovely ult by Leona once again, and the bomb is going in. The flashing by Sejuani, the chase is on, and she's gone for the sacrifice. Um, and I realised this, I was like, oh shit, i got to come over here. I could actually remember this. I was, uh, if we go to myself, I was like, shit, I'm coming in here, I'm coming in. And uh, just joking about it, not thinking I was really going to do anything. Pop my ult in here. Quinn, I'm pretty sure, does die. She has popped her shield. Um, and they all kind of separate, which really was kind of annoying, because Renekton got so low, and I was like, oh shit, who do I target now? So I start focusing down um, Ezra, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to have to flash. Flash under Heimdig and secure the kill there. And uh, thankfully, my boots of mobility kick in just at the right time, and... Uh, even with Karma as fast as she is, she was not catching up with my uh, this Nasus today. So, luckily, uh, I was quite amazed that I just jumped in there with. Well, I think there's all five members of their team were possibly there. At least four, anyway. Um, I think five could have been there. Um, went in there pretty much on my own. Quinn obviously was doing a little bit of damage, but got focused down pretty much straight away. And I was able to pick up a kill over Heimdiga and Ezreal. Obviously, both the squishy champions from Necton dropped under 100 HP then, but got away thanks to his uh, E. Uh, there we go, and uh, plus I got away from my, uh, got away myself as well, so I kind of hug you with that. And uh, thanks to my passive, I'm slowly regenerating my life um, back up from attacking the uh, the jungle camps at the moment. Just making sure my Q's farmed up. My Q is now. Let's have a look. Up to 303, so really going to be hitting hard. Um, that means plus that, that's 120, uh, that's 220, so 500, about 530 that now hits for. So. Hefty stuff, hefty stuff. No, ten kills on myself just for the forester still. So really, uh, being a menace this game. Quinn obviously just have twelve kills herself. Uh, and Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, and a Zeal now. Um, looking to complete into a Phantom Dancer. So looking uber strong, um, uber uber strong. And there we go. That's the item. What is it called? Spirit is Spirit Desire. Yeah. Um, Building into Spirit's Retage, that will give me that bit of magic resist. Obviously it gives me 200 health plus 20% cooldown reduction which is nice for my Q or all my moves really. And also the passive one increase, increases self healing, health regen, life steal and spell ramps effects by 20%. So you know with this passive and such, yeah, it's a pretty OP item. And all these guys were actually going in here. Um, it was a pretty pretty dangerous move really considering Quinn's actually pushing up top lane there's all five of them and I'm not even there so uh, it was just Ramus, Kale and Leona there so it was a bit dangerous really to go in like that but it has actually did actually leave um, the option for Quinn to backdoor uh, their top their bottom turret which he has done to its success and now that I'm there myself and uh, Ramus and Kale can put the hunt down picking up a kill on Renekton and Wither is going to go down onto Sejuani 
Can we make it down? We just need another lovely knockback by Ramos, and that is going to be a double kill right there over Sejuani. And Quinn's now here. I don't even know what happened to Heimdini. Like, he must have just instantly died or something then. Um, and I think this is going to be the winning push. Uh, if almost a 15k gold advantage by the half an hour mark. As soon as these turrets go down, that will be a 15k gold advantage uh, quite easily. Um, and they, uh, unfortunately, um, the team comp of ours was a lot stronger, and a fed Nasus is a fed Nasus. Uh, not much to go. Even Quinn able to pick up the kill there. Unfortunately, Ramos did get a bit too close to the turret and did die himself. But, yeah, it was a very nice game considering that was uh, been about seven or eight months ago that I last played NASA. So I was very uh, pleased with results that took on a lot of uh, your guys' comments in my previous video. Obviously, um, looking to get the sheen this game, but instead of going for the Trinity Force, I thought the Iceborne Gauntlet would be a lot nicer item. Uh, purely because of the mana, it gives you the armor, 70 armor, 10% cooldown reduction as well. So it's really nice. Sunfire K plus Spirit Resarge. Um, and my giant spout. So looking uber tanky that game, uber armor, and just uber damage. My Q, we can find it. We can actually see it. My Q was hitting for bonus 330 by the end. So that's that's the equivalent of scaling up by about a hundred or well, 110 for every 10 minutes, which is not too bad. Um, if I keep giving that, I'll see if we can kind of push it up a little bit. My farm wasn't amazing, you know, 191. That was the highest in the game by one. Beat Quinn, who was on 14 kills or so. Crazy. So look, I had the most gold. Yeah, rocking out the gold, 13,000 gold, that's what we're talking about. Fuck you, Quinn. I think that Philosopher's was just about enough to uh, keep ticking away. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this was a lot better video of myself playing Nasus than my previous one, because we actually won this game as well. So, nevertheless, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and you have a good day, and take it easy. Peace.